Welcome. Welcome. Shit show. Did you not put the fil- God buckle, you sabotaged me. <laughs> this has been on there since like 2012. You ready? Today's episode of How Fucked Up, It's Fucked Up. That's fucked up. I mean, that thing is just stuck. It's like it's been through the f***ing Titanic. Hey man, I don't know why it's gonna lean and it's making like 50 pounds of boost. Just don't understand. So for right now, we're just gonna beat it to like where it's maybe a quarter of the way open. That should get us to about 15 pounds, I'd say, by my mathematicals, just until we can get a new wastegate. So, it's gonna let about that much through there. What do you think? Should I go more or less? Does that look like 15 pounds to you? Let's ask Dad. What do you think? More or less? Do you want more or less? Are you serious? Yeah, that's what, that's what we're working with right now. I don't even know what to say. That's not an answer. I'm trying to be productive and not Me destructive. Too. Take that valve out and clean the stem with the wire wheel. Yeah. Put some anti-seeds on, it'd probably be alright. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So last night we uh took the Mustang out. <clears throat> Chevy stop. Edit hat Chevy. Stop. Come here, scrap. The fish squeaker's broken. She she can't bark, she just squeaks now. What's the matter, squeaker? Well, I started charging the battery to that truck, so. Oh Jesus. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. She knows you're getting ready. Like a traumatic experience for some reason every time an RC car moves around here. Anyways, we took the Mustang out last night and it's been having cooling issues and we figured out that it was because the fans weren't working. They'd work intermittently. Sometimes they'd come on at random times. Sometimes they wouldn't come on at all. So we figured that out. We got it to where they work. Scrap! Enough! Oh my God! We got it to where they work um, all the time, basically, just to test it, and it stayed cool all night. Uh, we drove it around for like an hour, and so it's driving good now. Um, the tune is pretty good as far as cruising goes. Haven't really got to make any pulls on it because the wastegate's been stuck, so now I'm working on that. I got this little valve broke free for the guide. I think you just spinning the guide inside the sheath. I 
вот и все. Spray some penetrating oil on it, that'll quench it and it'll draw it in. Found them on Alibaba. Here they are. What the hell is Alibaba? It's like a, it's like eBay for United Arab Emirates or some shit like that. <laughs> so it says it's a 60 millimeter wastecape. One J Z, two J Z, R B twenty five, S R twenty. So this is valve beating on it. The valve's bent. Okay. <laughs> it was f to begin with. Well, it's definitely f now. So I'll have to either get one of these or cut the flange off the exhaust and put a different one on it. Well, let's just put it back together the way it was for now. The, the valve is absolutely bent. So even if you close it, it's still going to have a little bit of an oblique. So it won't build as much boost as it did. If you can even get it back together. I can get it back together. Yeah, we're going to put her back together the way she was. Oh, why? Yeah. <laughs> So going back together yep it's going back together no springs so what's that gonna change exactly uh basically yeah. we're just covering up the hole on the exhaust because if we don't put it back on it's gonna have a hole in the exhaust tommy so gotta put it back on no, no i understand that i just mean like is it gonna have all the boost or absolutely no boost? nothing has changed it's still gonna have all the boost because okay. the valve's stuck gotcha it is slightly bent now for me beating on it which should let a little bit of exhaust escape but not much so we're gonna have to order a new wastegate. I'll probably just get the same one, just brand new. These are cheap enough and I'm sure it used to serve its purpose. It's just the car must have sat for a while and it got stuck. So plan is we've got a uh, photo shoot lined up. I wanna take pictures with the Mustang now that it's all cleaned up and looks good. And we're gonna do a shirt design for this car because we're going to do a giveaway on it eventually and I want to have shirts made special with the car on it and then also I don't have any shirts with the truck on them since we've done the repainting of the fenders and the doors and everything so I want to do an updated design of the truck as well so we need to take some high quality photos for uh for merch stuff and then I'd like to drive the truck around a little bit and start tuning it under some boost you know everything goes well so maybe take a Make, maybe take Tess a ride in it today. She's gonna get here around five or six. If it's still light out, might take her a ride in the truck or something. She doesn't know about it yet, but she'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be down. So the white car, oh, let me go back to white cracker. Welcome. Welcome to the shit show.
He's drilling awful fast. There's another one over there. Look what, look what Chumpy's sending us, bud. What the? Some, some granny panties? Some negligee or something. That's what? probably out of his personal collection. You want to take this home or what? No. Just saying, it's probably out of his personal collection. Probably make like some underwear out of that. We should start our own business based off of his business, putting the rags back into clothes. <laughs> <laughs> big buy from Chumpy to everybody back into clothes. We had a big box of rags and then stitch them back into clothes, and then it'd be like a new fashion style. That's a hustle right there. So anyways, last night when we were doing our photo shoot, the brakes locked up on the truck and I could barely get it home. So we figured out that the piston was sticking on one of my calipers. The pads were completely worn down to nothing. And I think it like overextended the piston or something, who knows. But anyways, they stuck and they needed replaced anyways. So we're going ahead and replacing them. Uh, Rob called Terry at Jags and found that they had some in stock. Normally I would have went with Strange, but we're in a hurry. We're trying to get this thing going today and they had well wood in stock, so that's what we're putting on it. We have to drill out these rotors for 5 8 studs though. So that's what we're doing now. Cool. Tony drinking somewhere. <laughs> just oh, oh shit. No, you're good. I got to mute you. <laughs> my, my bad. I just recorded separately so they're on different tracks in the edit. <laughs> You have a unit bit that you can chant from? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kenny, number two. You sure you've drilled the right pattern out? Five on four and a half, right? I thought we were four lug. These are going on the Mustang, right? Hey, the mare's still four lug. I can put them on whatever you want. I have a welder. Four by 100 millimeter. All you got to do is say full hillbilly. I think we're there. We're, we got that <laughs> covered. <laughs> we're there. Pray to God that I have brakes at some point today. I'm just trying to make some pulls, man. It's heavy. It's heavy? It's not heavy. It's heavy. That's not any heavier than the ones that were on it. I'm not saying that that's right either. What would you use? Something lighter. Just cap them off and just use the front brakes for right now. Do they make titanium calipers? They make titanium rotors and carbon fiber, but I'm not to that level yet. Hmm. This will be okay. Now that you can make man boost, we'll, we'll check it out. Gonna have to. It's a little baby motor. So this is the last thing on the truck that I haven't freaking changed. Here we are. It just wants all new everything. It'd be like your dad, Captain Lack of Maintenance. Yeah, I mean, those, for the record, those brakes have been on there since the truck went to a nine inch. And there's the same pads and everything. I mean, that's at least four or five years. That look like ghetto brakes. We're gonna get the last mile right now. Drill them out a little more, Buckwheat. Hold that. Big one. The big one. Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. It's stripped. Feels like it. No, it's gone. You excited for Jimmy Dale's race? I'm excited to go racing in Texas. See how Jimmy Dale does. I'm excited. I've never been to that track, so. Let's just turn it. Turn this in a little bit. So you're running the stick shift class there, right? Yep. Hell yeah. If I don't make it, you can drive two cars. You'll make it. You gotta be there. All right, it should be good now. Let me get it right there. Take a truck and trailer out here right before that race so we can load up and then and head down there with you guys. But if we don't make it that fast, we're probably driving to Suburban and Open Flat. Rolling ghetto. As long as we get there. There should be a good turnout. I think we're with Jimmy Dale promoting it 17 times a day. And uh, I like the Grand Theft Auto theme he's got yeah, going on. That looks good. It matches the place. We're about to bring our bulletproof vest. It's going to be a good 
Good time. No, it's front side. He's allowed all wheel drives to run a stick shift class too, which is fine because it's front side. I'm okay with that. Yeah, plus what all wheel drive stick shift is consistent. I mean, so far I'm a piece of shit as far as consistent, but <laughs> I'm as consistent as you the weather. You got Evos, you got Ohio. some DSMs. Go ahead, tighten it. Yeah. It's gonna be good. I'm excited. Probably bring the Falcon and the truck. I'd like to get the Nova there, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough time. You're sponsoring a stick shift class too. Yep, put 1500 on top stick shift. So there's a, what is it, like a 100 buy in plus 1500 on top? Yeah. Should be pretty, yeah. pretty good payday for somebody. I'm gonna have to win to pay my friendship fee with you. <laughs> friendship fee. My niece. The fuck is calling me? Dad. Hello? How long do these things have to be? Can they be a little bit shorter? Yeah, they don't have to be super long. Because he's got some here, but they're quite a bit shorter. They're half inch long total. That'll be fine. All right, I'm on my way back. All right, all right. Just like that, Kenny Powers? All right, good. Yeah. It's like you did this on accident and then you purposely had it done like this and it looks so nice. You did a really good job on it. Yeah. It's gonna get much better. And it'll wear, like some of that shit will wear in oh, too. Yeah. With age. No, it's, I can't believe it. Like the drips and like. The rust he put in there and. That's top notch right there. Yeah. Thoroughly impressed with it. Yay, teamwork. Are you getting thinner? You look. Maybe. You're looking frail. Are you eating? Go eat some pizza. You're gonna blow away. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm fine. You need to eat some of that. You're like 105 pounds. I could eat you. Fast metabolism. Jesus. Me and him got the same issue. I can eat and eat and eat and eat. I don't gain no weight. Same. Hmm. All right, go ahead and do your thing, Bucko. No. We're here, we've done seven of them, just do the rest. Here, put it on. Half the rest of them look pretty good. The the race. Come Which on. Which one are we on now? This one. Jesus. We're pretty quick at it now. <laughs> Trying to get hooped on today? It's nice out. Yeah, I gotta leave at six. I gotta go home at six. So, it's not like I live down the street either. So what we need to do is we need to drive this truck around, make a couple pulls on it, and then go hoop. There you go, see? And then Tom, Tony will be laid up in the hospital with his knee now. Nah, I know how to work around my bad knees. Mm -hmm. I'll ball Thompson up with some hay dudes on. Happy, I'm happy. That's good. What happened here, what'd you hit? That's, that was that way when I bought the truck. Really? Yeah. Not in the rocker panel damage. The rocker panel was in Texas. Well, on a trailer, gate. right? Hotel gate closed on me. Oh, I didn't know it hit the rocker too. It hit the rocker, yeah. You could have the Dent Masters guy probably go in there and the Dent dude. Uh, the that the factory good. door has a little the dent, dent in it, too. Dude. The Dent dude. I don't think the Dent dude. Yeah, he'll put his light on it with his fucking fog lens and he'll get his mirrors out. And yeah, I think you're going to have to shrink some of that. You're probably going to have to fucking beat that from the inside out somehow. No, he'll get that out. I've seen him do well, a little tabs on it and you pull it down. I've seen him do magnets. They hook a magnet and they energize it and they pull it. Yeah, small he's stuff. eating That's now. That's stretched. What? You got his feelings now he's eating. Yeah. That's good, Bucko. Make sure there's no pizza left for you fat guys. <laughs> That's good, because I'll be thin like you one day. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been thin like you since I was like nine years old, but. Well, just son after some donuts or something. Yeah. I weighed more than you at eight months old. How you doing, Kenny? You look like they line up good. I to go ahead and swing. Did you have to shim them at all? Removed. Pretty centered. It's good quality stuff. Jeremy, you talking about your kung fu tactics? Yeah, I think he's a bully. The guy from Vietnam showed it to me. He's like, check this out. And he fucking grabbed his buddy of mine and held his finger. The guy was all like, oh, made him go down. And when he let go of him, he did the same thing. Grabbed his arm and fell over. He's like, ah. Was that the pinky? Yeah. Cut the blood circulation yeah. off so when the blood comes back and 
as that nerve does a lightning signal off your arm, cripple you. That's intense. Doesn't matter what. I think he was watching too much kung fu back in the eighties. It worked. <laughs> How do you do it? What do you grab? Don't don't like tweak me yeah, out. But well, you take his finger back like this, and you push pressure on your knuckle. Uh huh. Pressure right here on the end of your fingertip, and squeeze as hard as you can. It does hurt. I imagine if I'm doing it, I don't know it's hurting you. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll try it on somebody one day. Maybe I'll just break their knuckle. Bill's gonna be upset that there's a metal all over the place. I have to vacuum that up. My dad's gonna be upset. <laughs> About which? What? <laughs> My dad never gets upset. No. <laughs> that thing's extremely loud, I'm just warning you. Bucko took the filter off of it. It's the best I could do. That should work. They're a little shorter. What happened to the, oh, there's the old one. Yeah, we've got Loctite. Yeah. Put the lock nuts on the important ones and put the other ones where it just needs to be there for moral support. Moral support. Some of these need moral support. <laughs> yeah! Dude, it's vacuum through a rod. Is it made by Chevy? Oh. It's an air raid siren. Oh my lord. Well, you see what happened was. You see what happened. It didn't do that last time I used it. No, that's because my crackhead brother <laughs> took the freaking filter off of it and was using it to suck gasoline out of the tank. It's full of rust. Oh, now we have that. Oh, so what happened is it got fuel in all the motor and shit, yeah, and just fuck it got fuck it got fuck out. <laughs> you threw it's gonna now I have to buy the shop a new vacuum. Oh no, can we hear that? I didn't get that. Can we hear it? Oh my god, this is Billy's motor at 36 pounds of boost on his old one. Jeez, I'm I. I have to turn it back on to use it, so that's I'm terrible. <laughs> it's vibrating through the hose. Will those work? Yep. Did you not put the filter? God, Bucko, you sabotaged me. Where's the filter at? I'm. Take a look. I figured it was back on. Oh Don't figure anything. No. Assume everything's fucked. Where's the filter at? <laughs> Bucko took it off and he said somebody ran it over. God, it's just blowing dust everywhere. I fucking died, dude. Jesus Christ, man. I come here for 18 hours and this is what happens. I'm going to tie a rag around it and zippy tie it maybe. There was some pantyhose on it. Is there still some pantyhose on it? Are you serious? Like pant it was on it the other day. Kenny put that on it the other day. Where yeah, you, uh, you put a pantyhose on it? Oh, we have some pantyhose Well, we just go back to the... Uh, Miss Vicky Davis from her you can't put this rag on it. You got me to keep going here. Jeez. Pantyhose. Are you putting this over? Kenny, you put this on the exhaust? Or are you putting it on the inside? I mean, it's time for a new vacuum. <laughs> Is this seriously the only vacuum we have? <laughs> you wanna see my old brake pads? This has been on there since like 2012. Well, get a broom, man. Yeah, it. look at, I got this on here. The panty hose trick isn't working. <laughs> Come 
so funny when it inflated. <laughs> the fucking elephant's trunk or something. <laughs> Look at there was. And you keep hurting the sky. <laughs> and it's not I was anything. trying to clean the carpet because there's metal filings where June and Chevy sleep. <laughs> and then it turned into this big old thing because Uncle Buckle blew the fucking vacuum up. <laughs> Too much boost for the vacuum. Ready to bleed the brakes? Okay. Well, I'll hit the pedal and uh, you guys bleed the brakes. Coming down. This is terrible. This is terrible. Be very careful, Bucko. Those are some world class fenders you're leaning on. You said you wanted a thing to make a match the rest of your I did. So if the ladder falls against it, it's okay. Okay. I would I would like to pump down. How many people does it take to bleed the brakes on an S10? One, two, three, well. Hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. The pedal still feels like shit. Okay. We're doing pretty good over here now. I don't know what's going on here, but. It's getting harder. You getting anything back there? Down, down. Oh, yeah. No air at all. No air at all. You, you, just, you just let it go. You just let it yeah, just let it go. That's what kid litter's for. <sighs> it was like if they're like if they're not running right, just hose them down with some WD-40. Yeah, it's bigger. The rotors, they'll, they'll spin freely. Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Bucko? Oh, he's standing now. Look at that old man. Majestic out Big there, you know? Big old Terry. <laughs> Look at him. Here comes the ass crack, come on. Put it in reverse, Terry. It's peeking out a little bit. Oh, there it is. There it is. Full blown. Billy. What, 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 what you doing? Bill. That William. That's up in there. Has that really Ash thick rubber. Uncle Bucko's fixing the throttle cable. We thought that some wires were mixed up, but I think this, the dome pressure sensor is bad. Dome pressure sensor must be bad. Uh, the wiring was right on it, so we're gonna have to go get a new 100 psi sensor. They fixed anything? Yeah, it's all fixed. It's it's great. They're just ad adjusting things, adding some texture to the door. Mm. It's fine. Oh no! No. Look at the time. We gotta go. It's time to go. Would you stop being a dork? <laughs> I know that's your everyday thing. I'm a nerd. It's glasses. Not Wait, a dork. Yeah, I have my glasses. Wrong. Am I a nerd? We're nerds together. Oh. Don't be disappointed <laughs> to be a nerd with me. She okay. just likes to be included in things. Yeah. <laughs> but we do have to go. It's California it's time. time. It's, we'll be, Would you look at the time? It took us 48 hours to get her driving. It's going to take us four hours to get home flying. That's pretty cool, though. So. But now Bill has a smart car, so <laughs> it was worth it. I wonder if any of it will rub off. <laughs> smart car. <laughs> So you came here, you critiqued, you made a mess out of the sweeper. You said, hey, this sensor right here is going to break, and then it broke. 
That's and then you. I didn't mean to, for that any of that to happen. It's all your fault. But we'll be out in three weeks, so. Two it's weeks, all right? Two. Two weeks, three weeks. Two or three weeks. No, two two weeks and five two days. Weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. The twentieth or the twenty-first, yeah. Yeah, two weeks, one day. Something like that. Sorry, we didn't get to do our ride along. No, it's okay. I'm disappointed. You guys need to do better. I know we do. It's still fun though. I mean, I'm just a camera guy. We had beef and nudes, so that's that's a that's, that's a plan. The, that was the big check mark on the list. And the mint cookies. Yeah. Mint cookies. All right, let's okay. go. All right, be gone. Bye. Bye. See you in a couple we'll be weeks. Back. Be safe. Yeah. Texas when you get home. Oh. I'll see you soon. See you. See you guys. Bye. Bye buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs>
about got nabbed by the freaking pogue dunk down there. It's busy, so I turned around and went that way, and we just made a sh short pull on low boost. I don't even know what it made. Well, when I you went see. to Kirkersville, the cop was following me because he recognized the green truck. So I stayed in the right lane. You guys were in the left lane, and when you ducked left, I the cop followed me. And he's like, shit! He spun around and went back after Oh, really? Me. Yeah, I was trying oh, yeah. to call you. So that was a good move, me making that U-turn then. Yeah, because the cop was after you, and he was chasing me. But when he saw you pin, you know, turn around, he's like, fuck! He pulled back, and then he got up on me like he was going to pull me over. And then he got back, and he's like, piss on He spun around went back after you. That's why I stayed close to you, because they couldn't see you around my truck. And then here goes your dad, and the cop's like, Arr! You spun around. Yeah. They recognized the green truck, but they didn't recognize Rob's Suburban. And they couldn't see you because Rob was blocking their way. We're just going to have to get it on a dyno. Yeah. What we're going to have to do is make sure that you guys can communicate. We need walkie -talkies. Well, it, it felt good. Um, we'll see how much boost it made. We logged it. so the, the hood was trying to peel off, though, so we might have to do something about that. It was trying to rip whatever the fuck it oh, could off. The front end like comes up a bunch when you get on it for sure. Remember I told you it was probably more The front tried to like flatten out and lift up. Well, it's, I guess it's a good thing I didn't make a pull when he was behind you. What? Yeah. When we come up, you weren't even paying attention. We come up beside you real quick and was like, no, because we were waiting for you to go on 40. Yeah. I'm like honking the horn. You're just like, mm -hmm, like I mean, we probably didn't even break the speed limit, did we, Lucko? No. No. 1900 you drop it in gear it's like wants to die it, it's weird yeah it just didn't feel like it was on any boost it made 11 pounds air fuel was 42 well four 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 one four two is okay on efi on car bed would be real fat 104 pounds of fuel pressure 33 degrees in ignition timing on 11 pounds Oh yeah, it was safe. No, no ignition cuts, no weird shit. Closed loop was adding 4%, so not too far off. We're under 10% the whole way on the pull. It's trying to add. Mm -hmm. So you can see, this is the pull. We start at 2,500, I'm in high gear and I'm at it. And near the end of the pull, we got to 6,500 RPM and it was on 11, 11 and a half pounds of boost, 33 degrees of timing, 4.2 air fuel, closed loops trying to add 4% to meet my base table on my target. Oil pressure 63, which it was pretty hot from us driving around, the oil temp was pretty high. It is an aluminum block, so it grows a lot, changes the clearances, so that's not bad. Um, you know, when I race it, I'm not usually going to be driving around that much, so the oil pressure will be a little higher at the track. Battery voltage was pretty low. The alternator can't really keep up with everything going on at this point, but hopefully we'll get the belt drive on it soon. That way we don't have to worry about the alternator anymore. Pretty happy with it so far. I mean, it did everything it was supposed to. Let's see how much dome pressure it had. 10 pounds of dome pressure. <laughs> yeah, so 10 pounds of dome pressure made 11 pounds of boost. Here's the target air fuel ratio on the Nova. It's pretty similar. I actually target 4.1 on the Nova with that boost. It's definitely safe. So Nova's got a little better ignition system though. It's got them CDI coils. I bet you find out it's, it makes a lot more power at 5049. On 11 pounds, and that's pretty lean. That's about what I idle at, it's 5.0. <coughs> idle and build boost. Yeah, we really just need to get it on a dyno, and then you can change the numbers and see what it makes back to back. Play with the timing too. It was clean. You can tell the converter's real tight on 11 pounds, you know, as it should be. Yeah. It's good though, it'll be good for street racing, I think. What are you guys? What are you guys talking about? We're considering having Uncle Bucko run for mayor. That way, he would be the police chief's boss. Now, how would you get him to elected? Be the mayor? Yeah, how would you get him elected? A couple YouTube videos, I'm sure, would do the trick. <laughs> 
our current mayor nobody likes, right? Right. And nobody runs against him. Right. So, Uncle Bucko. I declare the and weekend. And Saturdays will be days. street racing days. <laughs> <laughs> street racing days. Close off 40. Bring in some food. It's just on street fair. fair. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> then we could raise money for the town, and then we could fix up all the buildings along the road that look like crap. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Turn 40 into the new direction. Maybe they can Uncle even Buck get a, wheat for mayor. Maybe they can even get a bank back in there <coughs> since their police can't keep track of it. That pissed me off, dude. That really pissed me off. The bank kept getting robbed. So instead of actually. It was our park, bank. Yeah. All they had to do was park the cruisers out there and they wouldn't do it until actually the bank said, that's enough. We're tired of getting robbed. The bank moves out and gives the policeman the freaking the bank. So now that's the police station. Yeah. And now they park cars there like, oh, nobody does anything now. All I had to do was do that before and the bank would still be there. <laughs> yeah, that was like the last business left there. Is the carpet place still even there? I Barely. So. They, they are there, but I don't see them doing that. It's like that. one church and, I don't know, the tavern could be the new meat spot for the street races. They closed the tavern. They closed the tavern. Well, that could be the new place though. That could be the new meat spot. I want the Coke machine. The SRC right. pub. <laughs> <laughs> I want the firehouse. Well, your buddy. Yeah, yeah, your buddy. Yeah, your buddy owns it. Bucko for mayor. You heard it here first. Your buddy would be excited because they're trying to shut him down from fixing all the buildings up down there. He came up to me and was like, You want to come to this council meeting? I'm like, No, not really. I already know what that ex exists. Kirkersville takeover. <laughs> Oh boy. Moved into town a year later, it goes to hell. <laughs> <laughs>